What's going on, America? Had to stop, take a break, get me a Red Bull to keep my energy level up, to deal with all of the stuff that's running through my head concerning where we are as a country. Now, let me get a swig first. Hold on. By the way, disclaimer, Red Bull does not sponsor me, okay? But it just happened to be in my video. I'm just throwing it out. But anyway, nonetheless, Donald Trump said that our politicians and leaders are dumb. And they are. Because when you look at a country that's supposed to be the strongest country and most powerful country on the planet, and yet you have a group of people who are not American citizens travel from Honduras through Mexico and show up on our border demanding asylum. That doesn't scream to me that they have a healthy respect for your country. What that screams to me is that because of political gains, because of manipulation of the law, because there are parties that have a bigger agenda when it comes down to bringing in illegal immigrants and immigrants as a whole, because people have made them feel entitled and enabled them through soft and passive immigration laws. Because of all of those things, they now feel confident enough to roll up on the scene. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Strangers. What you want to come in and live here? You can't come in. No, you're going to let me in. And if you don't, I'm going to sit right outside your door until you open it up. That means they don't have a healthy fear and respect for your laws for your citizens, for the government, for the leaders, for the police, for the border patrol, or nobody else. They are the big bad wolf. Open up and let me in. And we are, we ain't even attempting to say not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Trump's doing that. And the border patrol right now is trying to hold the door while they pushing. But if I hear any Democratic leaders get up there talking about, well, we got to let them in. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to their house and I'm going to knock on their door. And then I'm going to say, uh, I need to come in because I'm, I'm looking for a better life. See, my house ain't as nice as yours. Okay. In my neighborhood, there's violence. There's people shooting. Sometimes I hear getting guns just going off in the middle of the night. Pot out. Pot ain't pot out. But ain't that ain't that out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm afraid for my life. Now, I saw your house on the news and on Google Maps. You got this nice house, your pool. You got a pool. I ain't got no pool. We have to take the little thing off the fire holes in the summer and use that to spray all the kids. But you got a nice pool. And my TV, I, I ain't, no, I ain't got one of them. I ain't got no, no. See, but you got the nice big screen TV. And your refrigerator actually have food in it, okay? And see, my bed, you know, sometimes it's just nothing more than a, a sheet laying on the floor and then... That's it. That's all I got. But look at your bed. It's nice. You got a little canopy and stuff. Yeah, you got in that fence you got out there. Well, I really like that fence. I feel safe in your house. So I figured I would just come and let myself in and have a seat and help myself to the food and demand that now I get to live in your house. And how you going to get mad at me? Huh? You can't judge me. You know why, Mr. Mr. Democrat, Republicans, or whoever else support this crap? Because... All I'm looking for is a better life. My other environment wasn't safe. So I'm just here now. Or even better yet, how about this? How about I just drop my kids off at your crib and, and, and say, well, you know what? These kids didn't come to your house on their own. I, I brought them here and just left them. So guess what? Now you have to take care of them. Now what you got to do is give them asylum or you got to give them citizenship and hey, don't, 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 look, don't look at them. It ain't their fault. No, nah, man, it's my fault, okay? But now you got to raise my kids, take care of them, put your money into taking care of my kids. When you look at it and make it personal, and you say, if I wouldn't do this in my own life, or if I wouldn't let somebody else do this to me personally, why would America allow this to happen? If we don't get the immigration laws under control, if we do not take a stance right now and we let these people just bogart themselves right on through our borders and take advantage of these weak immigration laws, 
we are cruising for bruising. And it makes me upset, not just the fact that they're coming for so-called uh, asylum, but it is the attitude behind coming for asylum. It isn't humble. It isn't, excuse me, could you please help me? I'm in trouble. It is, I'm here, open up your door, let me in. You better. And if you don't watch, watch what I do. You think I'm leaving? Nope, 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 I ain't leaving. The arrogance of this is amazing. If they won't go to Russia and bang on their border and say, let me into Mother Russia, or if they won't go to China, North Korea, or any other country and say, let me in, that shows they have a healthy respect for those countries. But yet, they feel like they can come having a good time. Did you see the video? They ain't there looking like they starving. They ain't there looking like they've been beat up, banged up, nothing. They got nice clothes, backpacks, stay up on top of the wall, dancing, having a good time. Yeah, they kicking it. They're throwing a party on our border. And at the end of the day, after the party ends, they expect to come straight on in and be an American citizen. Is that how we want our immigration laws to operate? I don't think so. Maybe the Democrats do. I don't know. I, I got a gut feeling they do. And I love to see how they're going to address this whole situation. Oh, I know how they're going to do it. Trump's a racist and he doesn't like these people because of their uh, nationality. It has nothing to do with their illegal immigrants just trying to force and muscle their way into our country. It has nothing to do with that. No, it's all because they're racist and he don't want them to have a better life. That's what it is. If I was Trump, I'd say, yes, I do. Uh, come on in. I'm going to give you the addresses to all of the Democratic uh, 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 congressmen and senators who are pushing for open borders. Let me give you their addresses. Just go ahead to these places. Tell them I sent you because they really want to help you guys have a better life. So you can just go ahead and help yourself and live in their houses, okay, and on their streets. Watch all those senators and congresswomen and men would be like, mm -mm 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 -mm. send them out of here. Send them some other place. Contain them to a certain area that doesn't affect us. But in the meanwhile, tell them that we love them so much and we support them that they need to vote for us. And that's my take on it. You've been listening to Kevin at Kevin's Corner. God bless you. If you like this video, hit like, share it, subscribe. If you want to support Kevin's Corner, feel free. Links in the bottom. I'll see you next time. Kevin's Corner. God bless.